everyone, this is Mike Stan and Steve Paneer and Jeff Crandall, the Ultra Boys, and it is July 2022. We are celebrating something very special because we are at Fullerton First Baptist Church, which is now called Wilshire Avenue in Fullerton. And 40 years ago, that's right, 40 years ago, 40 the years. Ultra Boys did their first concert when it was called Fullerton First Baptist Church. We're yes. going to take a walk. Let's we're going to go, go have, have a look and we're going to take a look inside the sanctuary. Here it is. This is us loading in. <laughs> They are in the middle of what they call the best week ever, which is their vacation Bible yeah. school for the summer. You know, it's colorful. It's colorful. Yeah. So this is where the Alton Boys did their first concert, our first concert, 40 years ago, July 1982. Yep, and we're here to celebrate that with you this way. The stage didn't look like this, of course. Didn't look like this. <laughs> this is very, very, very colorful. Yeah, yeah. But this, this was where we did our first gig, and and it was the three of us with Ron on bass, Ron, Ron Baca on bass, and um, see, Steve was over here on this end. Steve was over here, and the drummer is always right in the middle where they're supposed to be. I was right here in the center. I had a Les Paul, and you know by. By chance, I'm wearing the same thing I wore that night, practically. Did you have a bandana except on that night? I had a black bandana, I had a white t-shirt, a black pair of pants, except for I didn't have these shoes. I had cooler, I had brown 1950s shoes. But uh, this is essentially what I wore, and it was here that we did our first concert, and the ministry of the Altar Boys really launched and started. And after we did this first event, things just started yeah, falling into place. So we, we came to this concert from different perspectives because I grew up in this church. I started coming here when I was 10 years old. And then, uh, and Mike started coming here. Um, 1980s, 1980s. Yeah, and then Steve, of course. I was down in uh, Anaheim. Yeah, so you were new, new coming to yes. coming to church, church's period. Well, playing in church. Playing in church. Yeah, that was I was going to church, but that, this was a whole new thing. Yeah. So we just had gotten enough songs together to do this, and we felt that we were ready. Um, of course, Jeff and I had played in two previous bands. Mm -hmm. In 1980, we had a band called Image, and his brother played... Bo Crandall played guitar with us, yep. and we started songwriting. And then that band changed a little bit, and we got some members and decided to call it the Image, Image Band. band. There you go. Okay, you go it's a wrong. big change. And Huge. you know, we get that, we did that with Ken Tampa on the yeah. one, but we knew we wanted to do something else. Yeah. So we decided we. We had been friends of the Lifesavers. My brother played drums for Lifesavers and Undercover. I thought, you know, this is reaching a lot of kids, this, this music, and we like it. Yeah. So we just started the group and started, just Jeff and I started doing songs. Rehearsing in my parents' garage. Rehearsing in his parents' garage, <laughs> just, trying to, just trying to pull it together. And at the time, then we called, got a hold of Steve, through Ministry Resource yep. Center and uh, through Bill Downs uh -huh. And Steve came over, brought his big old Marshall. Played a couple of most things. Yeah. Yeah. And we thought we liked this guy. We yeah. wanted him to sing. We were hoping he would be a singer because we were looking for a singer, a songwriter, and a spokesman. Remember? That's right. And I was running from his colleague. <laughs> <laughs> we kept looking and looking and auditioning people. It didn't work out. I think even when we did this first concert, I mean, I think I was still kind of like, well, well, maybe we'll find somebody. Yeah. But for now, I'll do it. Yeah. But for now, I'll sing. For now, I'll write the song. For now, I guess I'll say something. It may not come out right, but I'll give it a try. So what do you guys remember about this first concert? What, what, do you, what comes to mind? I know 
I think for me, it was, uh, first of all, I did, I really, I don't, if what I remember is we were not really chasing to be a big thing. No. What we were trying to do was just tell youth, tell kids, right. tell young people about Jesus. Yeah. And we were willing to play anywhere, you know, even Robert Schuller's backyard um, at his son's party, his birthday party. Um, so we were willing to play anywhere, and we did play pretty much anywhere yeah. we could. We didn't, we had no idea that this thing would go. We'd play actively on a on a regular basis for 11 years, and then be a 40 year thing. It's I mean, 40 years. 40 years. Amazing. Yeah. And who, whoever, do we ever think we'd release a, a new record in, in 2018? I mean, it's like, what is that? Do you remember the crowd? I remember what, what, it, what it was like. I think it was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty full. Yeah, I think there were a cool. lot of people that brought some youth groups in. Yeah, yeah, there were. There were. Um, and, I, and I was real active. We had a good youth group here. And then we were able to network with some other churches from our denomination, if you will, and, and they brought their kids too. So it was a it was a good night and it was so much fun. And now Steve remembers a lot more. He remembers <laughs> Steve remembers. Well I had been playing in a secular cover band for a long time. Clubs and parties and all that and rededicated my life to the Lord and reached out at Calvary Costa Mesa, ended up talking to Mike, joining the band and I'll never forget walking in here going, I mean, it's okay, we can play <laughs> yes, me. really loud music in here. Because, I, I mean, I grew up in the church, and I, it was, a, it was a, a rush and kind of weird. And it was all, afterwards, I'm like, all right, this is great. This is what I want to do. I remember you like, Penn said you asked me a couple times. Are you sure, Mike? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here? I'm sure, yeah, 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 we're going to be fine. Yeah. You're sure they don't mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't. Do you remember much about the gig itself? Well, looking at those pictures, I probably was like trying not to look out in the crowd, just going, remembering the chords, and you know, not getting unfocused. But I was like, wow, church, rock and roll, kids, Jesus. How can you go wrong? It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. it was great. And people were. I remember people were very excited. They were surprised. Jeff and I had been kind of playing a little bit mellow, so we came yeah. up and did this. And afterwards, people were like, this was great, but it's so different. What's in your hair, Mike? And I had like glued my hair. I was just trying to figure out yeah. how to dress or look. I, did, I didn't know. I had glued my hair up with a bunch of stuff. I wore a bandana because rock guys sometimes wore bandanas on white t-shirts and black pants. And we're just trying to figure it out. And remember some of the songs we did? We had, we, so these were very early songs. And remember, I was writing songs just like, because we needed material. Not thinking that they would be doing much of anything. But we had songs like, Well, Okay. Uh-huh. Well, okay. okay. So you think you got it, babe. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Yeah. Jesus is out of sight. And then we had a song called Mary Ann, which is more like Beatles. Yes, I've changed Mary Ann. I'm in love with Jesus. Mary Ann. Oh, yeah. It's a hit. And then, <laughs> listen to your heart. Listen to your heart break down. Yeah. After all this time, you think you'd know better. Listen to your heart break down. Oh, you're lost. You're lost. So we, 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 musically, we were all over the place. We go to this kind of pop Beatles kind of thing to punk to ska to kind of surf to kind of fifties. But back then, kind of musically, anything feeling went. It just didn't. Yeah, and you just tried to play it within, be yourself, and add your own style to it, even though it had a had a had a beat to it, which was a surf beat or whatever. So, I mean, this is the Ramones. Ramones did a lot of that kind of thing. Yeah. Just with some grunge guitar and a little faster. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, back in the '80s, MTV had just started, and you know, bands were doing go from a pop, and radio would go from a pop to a punk to kind of a surf to kind of a '50s thing. So it was kind of like, well, you know, things okay with MTV and that, and I, 
still okay to me, so we'll just do yeah. songs like that and switch it up. And, and we, were, we were just still really trying to figure out who we were going to be. You know, because I mean, we didn't come into this thing, like I said, about we're going to do this and we're going to make a record first and then kind of do this thing. We would just have songs. We were just going to tuck it back in. So, uh, it's all started here. Yes. We need to also address the fact that it wasn't just the three of us. Yeah, we were starting. We had a gentleman named Ron Bachoff, he was an editor of the first day. Yep, about right there. And he played with us for a year before Rick Alvin joined the group. Yep. So, I yep. guess you might say we, uh, Ron has Ron has since passed away, unfortunately. Otherwise, we'd have him here. Yeah. But you might since just say we're the we're the three that uh, were on the stage, starting with the Altar Boys from, from day one. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Yeah. Very exciting to be able to to be a part of that and to do it together and still be friends. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Yes. A lot of groups, when they stop playing, they don't talk to each other. They don't hang out. These are always been my good friends. That's why. That's why we intentionally never broke up. We never. Remember, did. we never broke up. We just stopped playing together. Yeah. That's how. That's why we could play together whenever we want. Oh, yeah. Right, or release a reunion. record in 2019. Another reunion. 2018. <laughs> yeah. So it was good. It was amazing. And and we also wouldn't obviously be able to celebrate this without people who were listening and buying recordings and. And, uh, and supporting is referring for us, yeah. for us, and still telling your stories on Facebook and Instagram, and we see, we see, still see stories. And people actually asked me before I came out here. So of course I live in Arizona now, and they were like, "Really, 40 years you're going to drive out? What are you going to do?" And it's like, well, do you know that we still get stories about people who are going to commit suicide in college, and a friend gave them one of our cassettes, right? And they turned their life over to Jesus because they heard music that. They and that was all God. Did be God yeah. did all that. Yeah. And we get to, and we, get to we celebrate you and thank you for sharing your story. We did become believers and ministers. A couple weeks ago, met Dan Campbell, who was changed, a very famous author, an amazing yeah. author, who, yeah. who uh, was changed by our ministry. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. 40 years of the altar boys, and Lord willing, at least. 40 more by the oh, no. grace of God uh, by the grace of God yes that's right <laughs> we'll be here at 101 and we were asked earlier what our that's right. we were asked earlier <laughs> Come on. we were asked earlier what our first song was that kind of what was that our first theme song what song was that? what did we say what song was that it was called that was you found me is that That's what you're talking about? I'm in the God? I'm in the God? God? Yeah, I'm in the God. I think we should sing that one. Mm -hmm. Our friends want to know what's happened to me. What are you into? What are you into? They told me that I'm changing. What are you into? What are you into? I'm not doing the same old things. Yeah, what are you into? What are you into? So I told them honestly what's going on with me. I'm into God. That's what I said, man. I'm into God. <laughs> he really loves you. I'm into God. That's what I said, and God is it to me. 40 years of the altar boy. Yeah.